Here we go. This is uh, page 88. We're moving on into 2.2. Excuse me. Hello. Yes. So he should probably bring his stuff, right? Okay. Bye. Tony Romo, you're needed in the auditorium for some testing. Go ahead and bring your stuff. Yes, Sam. May I use the restroom? Yes, take the pass. Hey, that's my phone. You went to the restroom last week. Thank you for keeping track. <laughs> you can hear me snap once. Can you hear me snap twice? Eyeballs this way. At 36,000 feet, the crew aboard a 747 airplane begins making preparations to land. The plane descends, underline that word, descends at a rate of 1,500 feet per minute until it lands. We have a new plane. What was our old plane doing? Increasing. Increasing? And this one's descending. What does that mean? Decreasing, going down. Going down. Compare this problem situation to the problem situation in Lesson 2.1. How are the situations the same? How are they different? Same. Different. What's the same about these situations? Yes, Jerry. They both involve planes. Planes? What are the planes doing? Flying. And not only are they flying, are they flying steady? Yes. Kind of. But there, are they, is something changing about how they're flying? Their height. They are changing height. Planes changing height. What's different about the two situations? The last plane was doing what? <laughs> Going up. And what's this plane doing? Going down. Okay. Uh, one going up, comma, one coming down. On our test, one thing we noticed, when you're asked two things, make sure you do both. How are they the same and how are they different? Complete the table, represent this problem situation. What is happening? Independent quantity, dependent quantity. Look at the numbers here. 0, 2, 4, 6, 1,800, 6, What do you think this, this row represents? Minutes. With a unit of time. So something's changing over time. Just like doing the focus in and out. Let's make it stick. Okay. And what is dependent on time? What's changing? Height. What units are we using to measure height? Feet. Last time at time zero it was on the ground, so the height was zero. This time at time zero it's up in the air. How high is it when it starts? Zero. Seven. Zero. Nope, don't just randomly yell something. Go ahead, look at the problem. They tell you. 1,500 Where did they find that, Martin? At the top of the page in the problem situation. Okay, now uh, we need to figure out uh, kind of, yes. At zero minutes for this plane, that's the start of the situation. So this is where it's starting at. Okay. Last time it started at zero and went up. This one's doing something different. At time zero, that's 
they, what they consider the beginning of the situation. It was way up high. Now, is the next is the next number going to be bigger or smaller? Bigger. Try again. Smaller because it's going down. Andy. Why is this number going to be smaller? Uh, because like it's decreasing in height. It's decreasing in height. How much is it decreasing? Uh, by 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 1,500 per... Let's make a note of that to ourselves. We're going down. We're going to subtract 1,500 per minute. Oh, what do you see at the bottom of the minute? T. T. Okay, so we're going down by 1,500 per minute, but that doesn't tell me how I'm going to get this number right here. I know it's a subtract, 1,500 per T. What am I subtracting it from? Three, six, zero, zero, zero. So the starting height is reduced by a certain amount. And it's reduced by an even amount every single minute. So right here, I'm going to figure out what that number is by going 36000 minus 1500. And what am I going to put for T? 2. T is the time. At time 0, I don't even have this. At time zero, that's goodbye, and all I have is my height, 3600. Zero, zero. But as I go down, I'm continually taking a little bit more away each time. Put that into your calculators. What do we have? 235. That doesn't sound right. 34. It'd be 3400 minus... Okay, here's what you had to do. We had to multiply these two numbers. 36000 zero, 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 minus 2 times 1500 is 3000. You don't have to do that in your head. You have a calculator. <gasps> but PEMDAS says do the multiply first and then do the <laughs> subtract. Okay? So multiply with your calculator, then subtract. That what goes here. Let's set up the next one. 36000 zero, 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 minus... Oscar, what am I going to write next? I am copying this function, but now I'm working at time four. So what do I need to write right here? Minus. Make it big. What is this? 1,500, and instead of T, four. four, and that's a multiply. That, anytime you have a number next to a variable, the math you need to do is a multiply. Do that in your calculator, please. Would it be 30? 27? I'm hearing various numbers around the room. Talk to the people at your table. What'd you get? 30,000. 30, and the next one, that's Which one? How about this one? Time four minutes. Tony, what do you have? Oh, Tony left. Brian, what do you have? 30,000. That's good. Okay, 
Uh, you guys do number six on your own. Or not number six. Do time six on your own. Mr. Craig and I will walk around. We'll look at the next one together. Oh, are you already on? You guys are ahead of me. I gotta tell those eighth grade math teachers they're doing a good job. Hey, if you can hear me snap once. Thank you. At time, six minutes. Myra, what do you have? And some of you already figured out how to figure out this. I walked around the room and these two boxes were filled in. We're using the same function, but we're going to do slightly different math. Who figured out how to do this? Wyatt? What? You kind of had your hand up there. Jerry? Oh, yeah. Is it 12? Well, how, how would um, we... How would we go uh, about it? I kept it? on going, like, in my head. Uh, so if it's 8 on this side and 10, then over here it's going to be 24. And if it's 10, then it's 21. That's if four. it's 12, then four. it's 18. Oh, four. so he kind of was going 8, 10. He, he went successive steps. So in some ways it's a guess and check or complete the pattern method of doing it. All right, good. So he knew we, we'd been going by two each time, and he could tell how much it was changing. So he kept going to get down to 18. That's an awesome strategy. Here's another way that you can go about it. If we have this function, and we know that's what you use to find out what's happening at a certain time, that equals 1,800. <laughs> You're saying, I sure like Jerry's method better, right? But uh, this is what you're going to do uh, if we are working numbers a lot bigger. So this you could do looking at the Jerry pattern. Let's go 8, let's go 10. We're going down by 3,000 each time. And he made his way down to 1,800. Here is more of the function thing. This is the output for a given input. All right, so it's what you get as an answer after you work that function. Now that we put it over here as an answer, we've been working on how to get t by itself. The first thing I would do is minus this 36000. And that looks ugly, but we have a calculator, yes? On, clear, 1, 8, 1, 2, 3, zeros, minus... 36000 equals. It's a negative number. Ah, but we know what to do with negatives, right? 
equals we minus this, so what's left is this negative 1500t. Now, how do I get t by itself? Divide, oh, that's ugly, but I have a calculator. Divided by, negative button is this little button way down at the bottom, negative 1500 equals 12. Does that agree with Jerry? Does that agree with Jerry? Yeah. Okay, so here's, uh, here's the next one. Make enough room. 36000 zero, zero, zero equals... No, I just did that wrong. Sorry. 600, 6,000 equals... 36000 zero, 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 minus 1500T. Subtract this. Goodbye. What do I get when I subtract these two? 30,000. 30, one's positive, one's negative. Oh, negative negative 30,000. T equals 3,000. Oops, I got good. Equals negative 1500T. What's my last step to get T by itself? Divide. Divide. It looks ugly, but I have a calculator. Negative 30123 one, divided by mm. negative 1500. Uh oh, rats. I back it up. Maybe I can just, there we go. Enter. 20. Does that make sense? Yes. That looks to be following a similar pattern here. Does that agree with what you guys had? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now this is T, and this over here is this 36000 minus 1500T. All right? Write a function to represent the situation. We've already done that. G of t equals, what's our function? What have we been doing over and over? Uh, 36,000 minus 1,500 t. Okay. Moving over to the next page. Make it fit in. Let me see how we're doing on this. 